Hi everybody, welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. I'm Filippo and I'm a technical educator at the Web3 Foundation. Before starting, if you find this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button below, as this will help others to find our content. And if we haven't covered something that you're interested in, drop us a message. This tutorial will be about creating multi-signature account using only anonymous proxies using the Polkadot.js user interface. All right, let's get started. In previous tutorial, we have seen how we can use multi-signature accounts using the extrinsic tab. And specifically, we talked about uh, creating uh, as multi-call, approve as multi-calls, and how to use this uh, type of calls to submit a transfer from a multi-signature account to uh, an external account. You can find the link to this tutorial below. We have specifically talked about the fact that multi-signature accounts are deterministic, which means that they are created using the threshold and the address addresses of uh, the signatories. This means that when we create a multi-signature account, we cannot simply change one of the signatories we need to create another multi-signature account, which can be inconvenient if we are dealing with a very complicated relationship between different multi-signature accounts, such as, for example, at corporate level um, organizations. We then tried to replace one of the signatories with an anonymous proxy, which means that we created this AB Anon multi-signature account that has Alice, Bob, and Charlie's anonymous proxy as a signatories, which means that the anonymous proxy is within the multi-signature account, but still it's a proxied account and Charlie is the any proxy of uh, the anonymous proxy. This allowed us to submit a multi-signature call using the anonymous proxy and uh, then to approve this call using one of the other signatories. The advantage of this is that we can replace Charlie anytime without creating a new anonymous proxy. And this can be very convenient if uh, we don't want to change this multi-signature account and you want to keep it a long time. In this tutorial, we will create a multi-signature account that is made of anonymous proxy. So all the signatories are the anonymous proxies and each anonymous proxy is a proxied account, which means that there is an any proxy that is signing on behalf of the anonymous proxy. This setup is very convenient as now we can change all the signatories in the multi-signature. This multi-signature we can stay forever and uh, if we want to change one of those signatories we just have to replace the any proxy to one of these anonymous proxies. All right, let's get started. For this tutorial we will need to use the Polkadot.js user interface. We are here on the accounts tab. We can see all the accounts here so we have uh, Alice, Bob and Charlie, Dan, and all the anonymous proxies, and the ABC Anon. If we can, uh, we can see a little bit more detail about the anonymous proxy. For example, Anon A is uh, a proxied account, and Alice is the any proxy, which means that uh, Alice is the creator, in this case, of uh, the Anon A. And the same thing is for Anon B, Anon C. We can explore the ABC Anon. We can see that uh, is a multi-sig with threshold two out of three, which means that we need two approval for every transaction. And we see the signatories are all anonymous proxies. We can go now and um, to the extrinsic tab here, and we have to submit a proxy call. So what we need to do now is to use Alice and submit a proxy.proxy .proxy call to the anonymous proxies A. And um, Anon A will submit a multi-signature um, call, this multi-sig as multi, to ABC Anon. And this call contains the information about the transfer of uh, one West End token from ABC Anon to Dan. Remember, here we are on West End. This is a testnet, which means that West End tokens are not carrying any economic value, which means that we can experiment and if something goes wrong we don't lose any money. Alright, so let's do it. 
we need to submit um, this proxy.proxy proxy proxy call. So we select the proxy palette and this is the proxy function. Then uh, here we need to submit this proxy call from actually we need to select Alice because the call starts from Alice uh, yeah, to N on A. Then uh, N on A is submitting this multi-signature as multi-call. So we go and select the multi-sig palette, the as multi function, the threshold is two. Then we need to select all the signatories of ABC Anon, in this case Anon B and Anon C. And here we need to put the information about the transfer between the ABC Anon and then of one West End token. The best way to do it is uh, to go again on the extrinsic tab and um, simulate this uh, transaction. So we select ABC Anon, then uh, we select the balance balances palette, the transfer keep alive function, and we want to submit this call to Dan. And um, we want to transfer, sorry, this West End tokens to Dan. The amount that we want to transfer is uh, one West End token. And this is basically the unit in Planck. We need to specify this, um, this balance in Planck unit, which is like 10 to the power of 12. All right, we need to copy the encoded call data here. We go back and we paste it in here. So this is basically it, is the first step. So Alice submit the proxy call to N on A, N on A is submitting the multi-signature call to ABC Anon, and this multi-signature call contains the information about the transfer of one West End token to Dan. We can submit this transaction and we sign with Alice. All right, we can go back on the accounts, the accounts tab, and we can see here we have now one pending approval. We can uh, expand this and we see that the depositor is N on A. The existing approval is one, so N on A. We can uh, choose to approve this hash using other signatories. And now comes the interesting thing, because if we do that, we just need the call data for final approval. We can uh, paste the call data that we just pasted uh, before. And uh, we click on approve. And uh, now with A on C, it will ask us that the proxy account is Charlie. So we can just sign with Charlie. And that's it. We just transfer one West End token from the ABC Anon to Dan. It's important to understand that we cannot submit the first proxy dot proxy call using uh, the accounts tab simply by going to send and specifying that you want to send from ABC Anon to Dan here and specifying one West End token and uh, hit uh, make transfer. It will ask us, obviously, we want to sign with A on C, A or B, so we can select A on A. Uh, we copy this multi-signature call that data that we will need uh, afterwards when we want to approve this call. And here, obviously, we, need, uh, we cannot sign it because we need um, the key pair. And uh, remember that anonymous proxy don't have any private key, so um, we cannot sign anything with them. So the first multi-seq must be submitted using the proxy.proxy .proxy call using the extrinsic tab. But um, then basically if we want to approve the call, we can do it directly from the account tab. We don't need to go back to the extrinsic and uh, submit another proxy call. I mean, you can do it, but um, it's not, uh, you, you, you don't need to. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope uh, you learned something today and uh, see you in another video.